The Corsair Carbide Air 540 High Airflow Cube Case is great for air cooling or liquid cooling. Check the link in the video description to learn more. By popular demand, welcome to our video on Display Fusion. If you're wondering how to acquire Display Fusion, I would highly recommend getting it through Steam, where it is $29.99, although it goes on sale quite often. I believe I got mine at around $7.99, and that was a pretty good deal. That's why I don't necessarily remember. It's not too big of a deal to me. Um, the main reason why I like Display Fusion is you can have different independent backgrounds on each monitor. I personally run three different screens usually, so it's nice to be able to have independent backgrounds because I just find it more interesting. You can also stretch backgrounds or you can have the same background on each one. It doesn't really matter. It's quite flexible in that way. Uh, my other favorite thing is that you can have taskbars on every monitor. So you have your Windows taskbar and then you have on all your other monitors you can have Display Fusion taskbars where you can pin whatever you want and they still have arrow peak functionality. Another great thing about these is if you're on your Display Fusion taskbar and you right click on a window, you have additional functionality. So you can click on span across all monitors or you can click on move, monitor to, uh, move window to next monitor. So you can just flip things around as you go and it makes everything a much more enjoyable, much faster experience. Another thing you can do, can do is have multiple screen savers on each one of your screens, which I'm really not into, but if you want to do that, you can. Now if you're into tinkering with software and want to get a little bit more functionality out of it, you can go to the functions tab inside of the Display Fusion settings window and set any key combination to a huge arrangement of different functions that you can do. My favorite one is move window to center of monitor, so that's control windows key Q and it just bops whatever window you're currently on into the middle of your monitor. There's a huge amount of other ones and you can set those to clickable buttons in the top left hand corner of the window. So right here I can just have that which is move window to next display so you saw that through over to the TV very very quickly and if I double middle if I middle click the title bar it will also move it to next monitor. That is default functionality though and not a key combination. So it's just nice little extra things that are built into it. So here's something I really didn't find that useful, but you might. If you grab the title bar of a window and move it to the next one, it, you can, if it's maximized, it will re-maximize on the other side. But the reason why I don't find it all that crazy useful is that I can do that anyways and just put it on the top of the monitor and then it maximizes anyways. So it's kind of already built in, but it might be a little bit faster for you this way. If you're very nitpicky about over organizing your windows, you can enable a tooltip that will show you the size and location of your windows at all points in time while you drag them around, which is very nice. Another thing you can do is specify default window locations for when your computer starts up. So something I have done is I set Skype, I have two Skypes at all points in time. So I set up Skype so that when I first turn my computer on, on my left monitor, not my main monitor, I have one Skype on one side and my other Skype on the other side so I can constantly ma monitor all my chats. Another tool to help you ma manage your Windows location is snapping. So you can set in the snapping option inside of the Display Fusion settings window, you can set snapping distance. I have it set at 10, which seems very natural for me. And then if you move windows around, they'll snap against each other, which is kind of nice because it helps you organize things. I actually use this all the time. Not everything will work with snapping properly, like my Razer comms window, which is a very custom UI stylized window, will not snap properly to other windows. But default uh, windows, Windows and Steam will all kind of snap to each other, which is quite nice. This isn't necessarily useful to me, but if you're a laptop power user that has a dock at, say, work, you can have uh, monitor profiles and icon profiles. So when you plug in a new monitor, sometimes the resolution's messed up or, it's on, or it thinks it's on the wrong side and your icons go all over the place, you can have two individual profiles and they can link into each other. So if you set a uh, monitor profile, it can automatically grab your icon profile. So you go to work, click on the work profile, and everything automatically configures itself exactly how you want it to be. So you're playing a game and your icons are all messed out because of some weird resolution that you had to play inside the game. If all your icons are messed up, just click on your profile, everything will be fine. You might notice a lot of these features are mainly good for people that are using Windows 7. Display Fusion also has features for people using Windows 8. One of them is a bypass to go right to your desktop, although they suggest using Classic Start, which also has that functionality, so that's a little bit redundant at that point. 
But the coolest thing in their Windows 8 features that I have noticed is they have a mini modern UI window. So if you do end up going, if you, in Classic Start, you can enable so you can still get to modern UI. If you do want that, but don't want it to completely take over your screen, you can have a mini little modern UI at almost any size that you want. It's very customizable, and then you can use it there. It still looks kind of nice, but personally, I wouldn't use that at all. I would just completely bypass modern UI because I don't like it. Um, the power user menu in Windows 8 kind of opens in one specific spot. You can teleport it to your mouse cursor by pressing Windows X, and then that's about it for Windows 8 users, but it's still quite nice. For many things, Display Fusion integrates really, really well with Windows. If you right-click on your desktop, you can access desktop wallpaper, monitor configuration, or just general settings. But if you're a power user, like I'm assuming many of you are, you can dive deeper into all the different menus and get a lot more out of this program. I've covered many things throughout this video, but there's still tons that I haven't been able to go through. And if you're going to sit down and spend the time to set up everything exactly how you want it, it'll take some time, but it'll save you time in the long run. If you're worried about backing up all your stuff, they have that functionality. You can back up your settings to a reg file and then restore them if you ever reformat your computer or move to a different desktop with, sim with a similar setup. Thank you for watching our Display Fusion. <sighs> nah, we're just going to roll with this because that was good otherwise. <laughs> Thank you for watching our Display Fusion video and I'm going to leave before Linus shoots me. No, no, you, you got it right so now I don't have to like Yay. <laughs> bust it back in the monitor. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> okay, bye.